I got a power washer hooked up and ready to go. It is time to pull the Chevelle outside and deal with this mess and uh, try and get this mess cleaned up a little bit so uh, that I can start getting ready to do all the front end suspension. Um, I have here all the upper and lower control arms, all this shiny stuff, this shiny stuff, and the rear suspension all here in my possession. Uh, brother sent me a text message earlier and said all the uh, disc brake conversion kits uh, front and rear for power brakes is at his house in El Reno. So uh, he's gonna try and bring that out tomorrow. Uh, but today I've got to get this thing ready and clean and um, get this crazy amount of dust off this thing. So, all right, I'm gonna hook it to a four wheeler, get this thing outside and get her done. All right, this should be more of a two man operation, but that normally doesn't work with me anyway. So uh, we're just gonna see if we can do this without running it into everything else outside. So hopefully as slow as we can go. shut the Pontiac off. Figured I'd bring it out, let it warm up real good because it needs a bath also. It's a little, a little dusty. All right, now for the fun part. All right, we're gonna give that a few minutes to dry off and uh, get some simple green on the firewall, control arms, frame rails, stuff like that. Um, not gonna see a big dramatic improvement on the like the paint becoming absolutely beautiful or nothing because uh, it's not. Uh, but we want to get everything off that firewall, so I can imagine uh, we're gonna paint that black. Keep it simple. Go with frame rails black, firewall black, and. Uh, Keep it simple uh, black is easy it's going to go with whatever color we go decide to paint this thing uh, whether he wants to go back the original blue or we want to go back black and white stripes like it was when he bought it so um, we'll see all right so we got the chevelle pretty well cleaned up uh, everything looks pretty good here got most all the crap off of it and off the firewall uh, i'm sure we'll have to get in there and do some scrubbing and cleaning on that thing before we're ready to throw a little rattle can on it good morning everybody we are back at it again uh had to run to town last night and grab some uh, spray cans so we can get this uh, frame kind of rattled up a little bit. And uh, also wanted to get some black for the firewall. Um, we're gonna paint this car back black more than likely. So I wanted to paint everything around the back of the motor and stuff like that, um, just so it was easier to do. 
uh, you know, once we have the motor and stuff like that, that's already done. So uh, I am going to finish painting the center cross member in the inside of the frame rails. Uh, and we go ahead and get the motor set in it. Uh, I've got this thing cleaned up. And uh, still have a little bit more painting to do. Of course, you know, you can't hardly get all this crap off the intake, so we'll just deal with that. But I'm going to get the motor situated, get it painted, firewall painted, and set the motor in there uh, just to make it easier to do the control arms. So we are doing a complete uh, disc brake, power brake conversion on this thing. So everything is going to be new front and back. So. Okay, got the motor cleaned up and looking pretty. Got the firewall painted. Uh, nothing professional here. This is just to make it look good uh, and not blue. But uh, once we get the motor in here, we have a lot of other things to deal with. Uh, this has been hacked on several times, it looks like. And I know I didn't do that. But I mean, we've got wiring problems here. Stuff spliced and taped and twisted. Uh, we're definitely gonna have to deal with that. So, um, not gonna have a car burned down on my account, that's for sure. So, I'm gonna work on getting the motor put in here and um, start making it look like something. All right, motor is in it. We just need to get the Camaro off the lift, get it switched around and get the Chevelle on the lift so we can start tearing the suspension off, which is gonna be a pain in the butt because it's raining like crazy outside. And right now, neither one of them run under their own power. So it's gonna be fun. You're messing up my driveway. What do we got in here? Ford's are noisy. You got parts? Speed truck parts. Speed truck parts? Speed parts. Speed no. truck parts. Speed truck parts. I'm not working on feed trucks today. Right. I thought I had the light one. No, you're not light. I'll get them. You're not supposed to carry them. Though. <laughs> I always need some of those. Here. We'll make a 410. Yeah, got a judge. I ain't getting. There you go, it works. <laughs> Doesn't bother my horses since they're mounted shooting horses. Alright, one more box of goodies. One more fire. 
People complain about a Cummins being loud. Six out of one loud. Yeah. Ah. Shocks. Brake parts. Brake lines. Oh, we're just gonna be wet. All right, we're gonna open some boxes. Those are front shocks. We'll lay everything in the front, out front first. That would be the proportioning valve that fell out of the box. Front hoses. There's these receipts. You want to show your wife the receipt? No, I want to put that on there. Okay. You can throw that away. <laughs> this is probably spindles. Or it might be springs. That's front springs. Those are your jump up springs. Also. Ooh, stickers. Expensive stickers. Yeah. And this is probably one rotor. Let's see what's what here. I bet this is a real, yeah, that's a rotor. I can see holes from the lug nuts. So here's, here's rotors, a rotor. That's why you're gonna have 14,000 boxes. And here are, these are your coil springs. These are for the rear. So put that in the rear pile. There's one here too. Sure that's what it is? Yep. That's the rears there. Now, that is another rotor. I already opened them all for you. Yep, rotor. Probably a booster. Yep, brake booster. That's pretty. Yeah. That's the hardware for it. So we need to sell all that stuff needs to stay together in there. Get that thing out. Got the brackets, make sure there's no little pieces we're missing in there. The instructions. Yep, need some of them. They got hidden compartments in them sometimes. I think we got it all. Yeah. Okay, so that's front brake booster, it's front and rear. The proportioning valve we got, there's going to be two proportioning valves in there. One's the disc drum, and one's the disc disc. I think I'm going to make it any harder with the headers. It? No, it'll be no, it'll be fine. So we just need to find the second proportioning valve, because they didn't have a kit with a disc disc. So this, <clears throat> uh, rear brake cables. You must have got the ones with emergency brakes. That's the rear brackets and hardware. These are gonna be the calipers. Oh, that's the... Yeah, that's the brackets. Yeah. Brackets and shims. All kinds of good stuff. These are, yeah, you got calipers with, with emergency brakes. Fancy. You don't ever use any emergency brakes or anything, do you? No. <laughs> drifting. Yeah, I don't think you use that one but hey i do have a valve over there we could put in it and this is oh, that's pretty dang cool. what is it that's, that's just pretty cool. yeah yeah it has the emergency brake tensioner on that we always just cut those off on that e exactly that's if it doesn't mess with the wheels new brake pads yeah a few hundred bucks you ought to get something shiny Okay, here's a rear rotor, both rear rotors, and rear brake lines, right there, and those, that whole box is rear rotors and destructions. So there's that. Hello. Get your toe. 14 boxes of stuff. So, what do we got here now? That's 
one big box. What else did we order? Here. Oh, that's gonna be all the rear suspension. Ah, uh, no, the rear suspension's over there. I already got that. Oh, it is? Yeah. That's all the suspension. That's more brake lines. Uh, front disc brake conversion kit. So this stuff here is for the front. Oh, I don't think so. You don't want those on there? Pretty dust collectors. There's all the bearings. Okay, so we can leave that box all together. That's all the fronts. That's all front brake? Yeah, those are the front calipers. Rotors. Actually, the rotors you just took out. Where, probably your, oh, I've not seen any of the rear suspension. Where's it at? It's over here. These are actually going to be front components. Because we have studs. The rears will slide over the axle shafts. Yeah. So... These are front brake lines. That what stuff's the rear. These rear. Those are for, I don't know what size them up. I'm just sticking both together. Yeah, where's the suspension? The rear suspension. Sus suspension. You're suspensed about the suspension? Well, I had to shift it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is. Yeah, I got to open it for you. That's lower control arms. All new bushings, ball joints, everything, hardware. Even has sway bar lengths adjustable on it. Cool. <clears throat> so that's all the lowers. And that's all the... This is going to be all the uppers. I mean, for the price of going and buying ball joints, tie rod ends, and all that kind of stuff, you, is you that get all those. The rear? That's all the rear. So adjustable four lengths. All that kind of stuff. All stuff nobody's gonna see. Yep. Centrifugals. Because what we'll do with the lowering springs, we might have to take this and maybe narrow or shorten it maybe a half inch, inch, depending on getting the spring right. So, that feels pretty loose. And I'm sure we can tighten it up. It has no grease in it either. So, but yep, that's all that. That's pretty much the same stuff I put on the Pontiac, on the Le Mans. That's the adjustable uppers. Because you have that. And then you have these that go into it with the collars, upper bushings. These are the collars that go between them on the uppers. So what did we buy that needs to be new? Um, the only thing we have to get down and we can order this from Rock Auto is yes, two two inner and outer tie rod ends. We want this. Um, brain fart idler uh, joint and this right here that way everything the suspension and all is brand new so but all this is coming off that's why I didn't bother painting any of this crap yet so um, we also want to get a new rag joint for the steering that's just an O'Reilly's thing that's nothing you think there's a kit we can order just to get all that uh, or do you think it's just easy to do it it's on cheaper that? to get it from Rock Auto you go to O'Reilly's and get it it'd be $200 you get it from Rock Auto for like 85 bucks so after that Radiator. radiator and the wheels and, wheels and tires but mm -hmm. your radiator's coming with the fan right yes okay it's all built in i haven't ordered it yet but just money i'm probably going to go ahead and order the wheels tonight maybe we'll, well we can size the 15 by sixes on the front of that but i think that's what you'll want if you don't want skinnies <clears throat> still worried about that aren't you no it's just it's not i know I we ought to just i don't know how it got all unbolted yeah, I don't know if somebody tried stealing it from you or something. There's really only, I see one bolt right there holding it on, the brackets, and the one bolt right here holding it on. I'm going to have them off anyways. Yeah. I don't see any. If you're going to powder coat them, I would just buy, buy new ones and strip this one them. This I think will be fine. Yeah, it doesn't look bad at all. The back one's got a jam, but it only be, I don't know. This one might be bent out here a little bit. See this hole here? Surely you wasn't back roading it at one time. It's just it's just way out of adjustment. You can see it right here. The whole bumper's this way. Mm -hmm. And it's just out of adjustment. You got a big gap here and a little gap here. Yeah, this looks bent out though. It might be. It might be I mean bumpers aren't aren't the end of the world. You no. can buy them repop pretty cheap. But if it's not bent, you definitely want the original steel. So alright, well let's start taking some stuff apart.
not loose, but not tight. Not tight. Not 70, 1970s car <laughs> tight. Which is absolutely astonished. Uh -huh. that this does come Sometimes out. you get lucky. Everything just comes. I'm, I'm, you don't. We're not. We need to quit talking because we still have the rear side to go, and we still have all these big control arm bolts. But they're usually not too bad. That's probably enough there. Then you leave some on the top. Put that in there. Put that down. Oh, that's good. Here, beat on. Got it. You ain't gonna break it. There it goes. Just that easy. That'd yeah. be the same thing on the bottom one. Yeah, try to get the bottom one. Yeah. I can't see because of your dang lights. <laughs> I can't see. Right between. You can get it right there. Just go right in, right under that boot right there. Hit it like you're mad at it. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> there it goes. Okay, now I need to get the screw jack. Dang, what it's all tuned for. out of here and see if we send the spring through the ceiling or not because uh, this is where the excitement starts so far everything's been coming off extremely well jinxes <laughs> that's gonna there's gonna be something oh it's, it's off there it Dun, dun, dun. All right, let's go ahead and take the bottom one off too so we're not having to carry the extra weight around. Because we're dropping some weight off of this. Okay. That, way, that way the spring can fly all the way yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's out here in the mud with the rest of them. some Chevelle guy out there somewhere going, I need those. No, you don't. Can I have those? No, you don't. Okay, now, this is where the... I stand back and... Yeah. There's no... I don't near as much tension on it now, so... I'll stand on this side of the sway bar, so if it comes off... Yeah, sway bar, it'll move it. Yeah, but it's a lot solid, more solid than my nose is. It should just fall out now, so... Unless it pops out. It shouldn't. They scare me to death. It shouldn't. I'm more worried about this thing turning here. See it moving? That's clocking a while. <laughs> it's barely even on it. Here. <laughs> Come around this side and do it. It's fixing the... It's going to jump back to the back of it. If it, <laughs> there we go. All good. Another thing. Nobody, uh, nobody lost a finger. No, the fun part's putting the new ones back in there. That's the fun part. All right. Let's go see. Throw those away. Okay, here we go. This again. Never seen cash a picture. I forgot to send a picture of it sitting in here. 
<laughs> Got a lot better hold on this right here now. That's the way we'll go when we put the new ones in. That wasn't near as dramatic. <laughs> Had a lot better bite on this side. You should have seen me and Dad shop trying to put those new springs in the front of that one ton dually. <laughs> that 2000 model. Two inch lowering spring. A little dangerous. I think it only has one in it still because I quit after yeah, getting one of them in. You didn't do it on both sides. <laughs> it took me so long to get one of them, I quit. I got a date, Dad. I got to go. <laughs> I even have um, new rubber isolators that went up on this because I bought two sets for the Le Mans and I thought that I needed two so I bought two sets so Okay, we have been doing some house cleaning here real quick and uh, got the old control arms off. Um, got some, we got some video of my wire wheel and everything. We're just starting to put the new control arms on. They're on there, they're good to go. Uh, we're gonna get ready and start doing the cool springs and spindles. And everybody knows how much fun that is. So we'll be back shortly. <clears throat> okay, we got the control arms on. We're gonna try and not kill ourselves. Uh, and get the springs in here.
almost there. All the threads on there. I'll be happy. Bottom. Watch there be a bracket on the spindle we have to put on before we put it on here. <laughs> there will be. No, it should all just bolt to that after we get it tight. doing that on the lift. <laughs> but what we do. Perfect. Alright, those are there. We just gotta get the uh, cooler back out of it. Hopefully it's not lodged in there permanently. Bring it into control. All right. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> I hated it. <laughs> you got a few more gray hairs on your on your face over it. Yes. All right. So we've got both control arms and springs and spindles on both sides. Uh, we have a little finagling to do, but uh, that didn't, that wasn't too bad for uh, a cool spring compressor I hadn't used before. I had some doubts. I was able to get my Le Mans and the Camaro on without a compressor, but we couldn't make it happen on this one. So we had to go to town and get a, get a uh, spring compressor. So we'll have to add that to inventory. I did, I flip flopped the socket on the backside just with that seal surface right there. I don't know if it'll get on, it won't get on with this rubber deal here. Turn your, your spindle around. Enough there. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I yeah. thought I needed more air. And maybe cross threading. It's kind of acting like that. It's jerking kind of bad. You have to use the box to open it on it. Take it off again. It don't so. look like it's eating the threads though. No, just shine them up a little bit. Turn it back around the ball joint. Nice and tight. Alright, if you can hear me over the air compressor and the impact, <laughs> we've got the spindles on. So uh, we'll have to pack some bearings and uh, get the rotors on. I for this job anyway. You volunteered. This is like the little stud end of it. That's uh, it. Yep. Now open that box up, set the rotor over. Actually open that up. It's a seal and race driver. Find the, find the one, probably that orange one. That'll work. Now put, that'll work. Now just take that handle. Yeah, I'm gonna use for the dirt bags. Yep. Always tighten them pretty tight and then back them off about three quarters of a turn. But it is rubbing that dust better. Yeah, it's actually rubbing against the back of the control arm, which 
they don't know what control arms are going to go on so i just basically have to bend it back right here a little bit okay we've got all the rotors and everything on ready to go need some calipers and then we're going to start on some brake lines the fun fine Well, I think we're going to call it an evening. We got quite a bit done tonight. Uh, it helped uh, with Matt showing up and giving me a hand. Um, all the control arms, the suspension and stuff is done. Brakes are mounted. Um, we have all new tie rod ends and um, all the stuff for the steering coming. So we got that on the way. We did go ahead and test fit the rear springs on the back of the car. So we knew about tire size and stuff like that and um we are really happy with that uh it sets perfect the 295 55s uh are, are really nice in there on a 10 inch wheel he didn't know if he needed a 10 inch or an 8 inch so we wanted to try and test fit something before he ordered the wheels for it so um he's good on that so the wheels are going to be ordered um but it's late and i'm fixing to call it a night because tomorrow i have all of those boxes to pick up and throw away and all of this mess here to clean up so um you know how it is you start a project you get 500 boxes out of the deal for no charge <laughs> so but anyway i'm gonna get the pontiac inside the motorcycles inside and uh call it a night we'll see you guys in the morning good morning all back at it again uh well yesterday we got all of the uh, front end put back together brakes control arm springs all that kind of stuff waiting on all tie rod ends so now it's time to work on this we have the power brake conversion kit now we do the power brakes the disc brakes now we're going to do the power brakes so um the old master cylinder two bolts one clip came off already so that's done i'm going to go ahead and paint around where the old master cylinder was um so we don't have to worry about painting any of these brackets or anything like that since they're all anodized and pretty gold and all that kind of stuff so uh, i'm going to get that ready all we have to do is bolt this thing to the firewall set the uh whatever length of rod we need for the brake pedal and uh, connect brake lines so it's about it let's get her started all right some of these kits have really made things a lot easier um the 55 that i did the bower to the disc brake conversion kits on my dad's car um was a little bit trickier but the older brackets had a lot more to uh, work with so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and paint this for real quick and then we'll bolt this on We've just about killed two cans of paint, so it's about time to go get some more from town. Let's see what we're, we get into. Of course, all the factory brake lines are right here. I hope there's enough length in there. I can just uncoil those. Get them back on. making a quick executive decision here uh you're not gonna be able to see nothing down here so i'm going to try and rid a bunch of this wiring and then i'll show you what we end up with because i've got i found stuff from old alarm systems in here like kill switches and all kinds of stuff that's got to go so i'll i'll see you guys back here in a minute oh man Whatever kid put this alarm system in this Chevelle who knows how many years ago, I'd like to just kick you in the nuts for it. 
<laughs> Took me forever to get this crap out. Okay, so we're getting somewhere on the front brakes. Um, I have got all the lines hooked up down here. They're all good to go. The new disc to disc uh, proportioning valve uh, fit nicely here in the factory spot. And uh, we've got our lines ran up top. So that actually looks really good up there. We'll drop this thing down, take a look at the top. See how everything looks. All right, now that I've got the front end pretty well wrapped up, um, I will start on the rear probably tomorrow. Um, but our lines are all ran up through here. Everything looks good there. Um, so we're good to go there. So uh, all I got to do now is just finish the rear lines. And then we also have all of the rear disc brake kit here uh, to figure out tomorrow and get that all, get the calipers painted, the rotors painted, and uh, get started on that next. See you guys later.